Yeah, 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 Dose. Dose. yeah, 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 about um, about eight weeks ago um, and we weren't in lockdown at that point but it was obviously um, uh, it was a kind of a difficult time to get around so I thought this would be the perfect machine um, so I got in contact with a company in uh, Shenzhen in China and they were kind enough to supply the machine to me so the scooter came in um, in its basic form and I've since have actually done a bit of work on it because I'm a mad engineer and I love tinkering with things I can't leave things alone so I've made it safe if anything because I wasn't really interested in more speed it didn't need it um, it's got twin thousand watt motors so one at the front and one at the back inside the hubs so um, if you have a look at this I'll give you a really brief rundown so you can see you've got here one of the hub motors at the front so the motor is actually inside here um, disc brake this is a floating type disc this is brand new um, I've modified it because the original disc was all steel and it was okay but it got extremely hot these are called nut calipers so this is um, uh, a normal piston hydraulic caliper like you would find in a car and it's about to fall over it's very hard to film when you're on grass so um, the nut caliper has got a uh, twin brake pads which you can see just in the top of it um, and it comes all the way up this hose here then into the stem and it runs up and it comes up to the brake lever which you can see is just here um, these are mineral oil fed this one's probably better to have a look at over here if I angle it a bit like that um, so mineral oil goes in here and then obviously you get the compression um, it's passed down here because it's hydraulic and then it passes it through to the caliper and again one at the back so what else have I done to this machine um, so we've got a steering damper which you can see down here this is from a company called K wheel um, and um, they've supplied everything um, to go on here so this has got a piston which basically stops me from turning the scooter wheel too far and having an accident so you can see the wheel only goes so far to the end of the, the bump stop if you like um, it's also quite heavy so I've got it on a firm setting and um, it stops the scooter from wobbling at high speed because this is a fast scooter it will um, it will do nearly um, I believe 61 kilometers per hour um, so around 40 ish miles an hour is is the normal sort of speed on it um, and some people are unlocking these and getting them to go much quicker it's got the um, uprated tires so it's got the um, the three inch tires which you can see at the front then this clip, I'm going to point with my foot, I can't let go of it. This here is called a clamp. Um, these marks you're seeing above is actually just white lithium grease. Um, the clamp is different, much stronger, stops the stem from wobbling and shaking, um, and it's, it's made the world a difference. Okay, if we go over to the back of it, you can see I've got something called a rock shock, which is um, this shock absorber just down here. Um, and the RockShock um, is quite a high-end shock absorber, um, they're quite expensive, it's an air ride um, uh, shock, um, 165 millimeters in length, that's been changed out because the one that we originally had was like this one which you can see just down here, so it was a spring-based oil system and they tend to leak and they tend to fail, they're not particularly compliant, so that has been done and that is now um, uh, rectified and is much better. Um, you'll see the fender on the back of this, the mug guard, is actually uh, made from carbon fibre. I made that myself, so I made a mould and then um, I will take you through the process and I actually built that myself. Um, but it is going to change over and get much better. Um, again, floating disc on the back of it um, with another nut brake. And, um, and then the pads inside are from some, a company called Swiss Stop. Um, they're producing, I think, the best pads at the moment from what I've, I've seen and I've got to say they're extremely good, they're quiet, very powerful and they're meant for extreme riding for a bicycle um, but obviously this has components which are off a bicycle as well as um, a scooter. So inside here you've got the battery pack and two controllers um, and all the wires that control the lighting and the brake lights and all the other items. These are the two charge ports, one, two down here so you can put one charger on and have a slow charge which takes about around about 10 11 hours you can put a second charger on and you can half that time down to about five um, I have got twin chargers um, but 
charging very fast isn't particularly great. This is 52.8 um, volts, I believe, and um, it's got an 18 AH battery inside it, which is good for, a, I would say, um, on this one, dependent on the riding style, um, I ride it pretty quickly, about, um, about 40 miles if you're careful. It'll probably do closer to 50 if you're really careful, but I'm not particularly careful, so yeah. Um, okay, so up here we have display which shows you, which you cannot see at the moment, which shows you your um, uh, your volts from your battery. This is your, your main sort of controller that you use to power the scooter. So you can see at the moment we're in gear one. You can change this to gear two, gear three. Basically gear one is the slowest setting. Um, that keeps it at the legal limit. This pushes it on a little bit and then this one is the top, uh, the top number. I've done 93 miles, you can see here, and um, I've got it calibrated in miles per hour. Um, it shows me my battery level, so I've got a full battery and I have just rode about five miles. This light, um, very powerful, um, 1200 lumens light, um, just standalone, rechargeable, very good, waterproof, um, literally lights up everything in front of me all around, so it's, it's got a good throw, um, probably to where the end of the goalpost is, just over, over here. Um, phone goes in here, and um, the, the cover I put on broke off. This gives you your, your single engine, dual motor, sorry, single motor, dual motor, so you can have just the rear wheel running or you can have the front wheel running as well, which is obviously the fastest. And then eco mode and turbo mode, and that, that basically really kicks the power into the, uh, the motors and the controllers and allows you to, to really go for it. Grips have been changed because these grips were shocking beforehand, um, so now it's got a nice new grips. They're very pliable, they're made from silicon and quite sticky, um, and um, they came from an American company and they fit straight on, no uh, adjustment. And then I've just got a bag on the front of it which holds all of my, my rubbish and tools and a, and a compressor. Um, so this is the Zero 10X. It's a bit of a beast. It is called a beast scooter and there is a reason for it. It goes like stink. So um, why don't we get the drone up in the air, have a look at this thing flying around and uh, we'll do it on the grass and then and then you guys can have a good feel of how, how quick this thing yeah, actually yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dose. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. And I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I to the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the building. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they abundance and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. I'm living. Taking the cards that was given, my blessings is already written. Wrapped with a ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. I Started from the mud, now you see us going up Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up People used to front, now you see them showing up So what's up, I've been down and now below I'm trying to get where I'm going, but hey, this is As far as accessories go, um, I'm going to have to lay this scooter down There we go, let's put that down I've got a couple of things here, so I've got um, some Alpine Star gloves um, These gloves um, are hard along the knuckles, so if you fall off, it's um, you're all okay I've got a thousand hat, which is, um, you know, hasn't been used properly yet, but it's quite comfortable. I like the um, the leather brown straps on it. I thought were quite nice. Um, and you can just tighten it on the back of it, um, but it's very solid. And it's got this ingenious bit on the back of it. So when you're locking your scooter up and you walk away, people's hats get stolen. So you just push here, and this is a magnetic opener that allows you to chain your hat to your scooter. And then when you're finished with it, just close it back up, and that's on a. Um, it's on a magnet, so it just pops back in. Um, quite nice because the airflow can come through. Um, I do look a bit of a, um, a bit of a tip with it on, but um, but it's absolutely fine. So then, in my bag, what have we got in here? Diet Coke, phone chargers, Mavic drone, and um, so we've got the professional drone here. Some battery packs, a cold Coca Cola, um, and uh, a set of keys. Um, not for a, a motorbike, not for a scooter, Porsche. Um, and then other bits and pieces in here for holders, for doing the car channel. 
and, uh, and there's loads more. I've got another bag just the same as this, full of items. So let's get the drone up and let's um, let's go out and see how she acts on the grass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dose. Dose. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. Ice of the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they a penis and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. I'm living. Taking the cards that was given, my blessings is already written. Wrapped little ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. I Started from the mud, now you see us going up Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up People used to front, now you see them showing up So what's up, I've been down and now but look, look, look I'm trying to get where I'm going, but haters be trolling, that's where they f Thinking you got me, right where you want me I tell a ghost just duck ya Sending them shots, we send them back Yeah, ain't really bout that Run, it's always bounce back Need more hands just to count that Stay on my bully, I need me more breeze Just so we can get the team right Loaded up fully 